Next thing you want to consider when testing web services is whether the behavior is what it's supposed to be to reflect what the end user wants. So for example, if we have that web service, get GOIP, right? It's supposed to return us the country code, country name, and it doesn't do that. It returns us, I don't know, the flag of, I don't know, something else or some color or something that's irrelevant, something that is not intended by the user. You can test it for that too, right? Because if the service is not working as it should and you are expecting to get some value back, you need to make sure that that type of value is coming back. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to do an example here because these services are functioning correctly, but you know, you, you just put in this thing, you just put in the IP address and just make sure that it's returning you what it's supposed to return, that it's not returning you something crazy like some kind of, I don't know, token or some other, other random thing that it may return. Obviously, scripting errors do happen, and they, sometimes they will return you guys something weird, so then you can go log a bug and figure those issues out with your development.